Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 27 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm messing around with Thomcraft a bit. First off, we got Thomic Tinker installs. We've got some toys to play with there. That's definitely new and exciting. But before we jump into that, I want to grab myself a few void jars. For that, I'm going to need some warded jars, an ender pearl, and some obsidian, huh? Alright, I should be able to manage a few of those. Though I have a feeling Soren stole some of my ender pearls. There's definitely a few void jars that I would like to get my hands on. I just have to find where I'm hiding all my obsidian. Or more appropriately, where Soren's hiding all the obsidian. Probably down here. Who's hanging out in Team Speak? Jaded, Mist is here, but I don't know if he's been talking. Neptune, Prague, Quetzi, Rorax, and Tema. Hey, everybody. Hi. Rorax, where have you been hiding? I've not been hiding. I've just Lies. been in... not in sync with you. Ah, well then, fair enough. It happens occasionally when you live halfway around the world. Oh, right. Oh, sure, that old excuse of, I live in a different country. I'm not avoiding you, I'm just in the opposite time zone. Is this a vanilla? Yeah, workbench recipe. Cool. I like the jar labeling system that came with the new Thumbcraft. It's really cool. I should probably be putting these things elsewhere, but for now, I know I say that, I know, but for now this will do. Oh, see, this thing already had some sacks in it. Interesting. That's probably one of the ones I want to avoid as well. Oh well, I'll probably have to make a few more jars. That's no biggie. Insufficient V. There we go. All right, so void jar, cool. I want to wind up doing something like, how do I get what I want to go into my void jar? That's the tricky part. Does this update have the change that he was telling me about? Ah, there we go. That's cool. So I need some files. Uh, an empty file, please, is just some clay and some glass. So what I'm looking to do here, guys, is the following. If I were to, for example, get some Saxum and put it in a crafting table with a jar label, then we can get a label for Saxum and... There we are. And it should drain all the Saxum out here. And, oh, cool, I don't even lose my file for that. Nice. And this thing will automatically fill up with all the Saxum in the entire network. So when I have tons of Saxum getting created, no worries. Um, I'm thinking I want to do the same thing with something else I tend to have a lot of, which is Arbor. Um, so let's get ourselves a file of that as well. Because I've got like Arbor here. I've got some here. I've got some back here, I think, is Arbor. Yeah, see all this Arbor I've got laying around? Always such a mess. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to get one of you, and we're going to label it with the Arbor aspect. Cool. There we go. And you can even go in there. Nice. That's pretty awesome. And it's going to drain the Arbor from all around. Now, because it's a void, um, a void 
uh, jar here. What it's going to do is it's going to completely fill up with all the um, you know stuff in the entire network. It's going to drain the arbor from everywhere around because I labeled it. Um, but then it's also going to continue to fill even though it's already completely filled up. So once this thing is completely full, it'll still drain from the other jars in the network and just destroy any excess. Not bad, right? Definitely. Um, Trying to think of what else I might need to worry about. Probably iron tends to be a problem. And I, you know what I do have a ton of is potentia, though I hate to burn potentia because that's actually pretty useful. Um, that's saxum. That should be draining at some point. I'm sure I'll get around to it. I'm not too worried. Yeah, potentia tends to be a, a big one here. I'll do it. Why not? Go for broke. I wonder if I have any excess pipes laying around. I have a valve. Did I have them? Nope. I wonder what happened to my excess pipes, because I'm sure I had some. Or twos for that matter. Gold, two iron, glass, and quicksilver. Where's my I blame sword. I also blame Soren. Morax knows the pain I go through on a regular basis. Yep. Okay. So we're just going to get ourselves a label for Potentia. Why not? So this thing is filling up pretty good. The arbor is filled up pretty nicely here. We should see that it's drained this one, so no more arbor sitting there. Um, I'm assuming it can reach this distance, but maybe not. Maybe it's too far away. I, it might just take a while too. Like he might not, you know, search like a crazy madman. Because that sounds exactly the way as an would function. All right, so meanwhile, now that I've kind of tidied up this a little bit, I won't mind, but at some point I'm definitely going to need to do a little bit better job of cleaning this stuff up because we've just got stuff everywhere. See, look, potentia draining out. Nice. I like it. All right, I want to make an arcane bore. I'm pretty sure I have most of the stuff I need too, but let me run around and double check. Um, I should have arcane bore, 32 machina somewhere. Trying to figure out why I don't have any more of that stuff. Let's label this thing. There we go. That'll make sure that it all shows up where it belongs. Uh, meanwhile, I also need 16 modus and 32 perfodio, which should be over here-ish. 16 modus and perfodio, I think, landed here-ish. Good. We've got 32 of that or more. Um, we need 16 potentia, obviously, we have tons of, and some vacuous, which we're in good shape. Cool. Just trying to figure out why the machina is not here, because I definitely burned a ton of redstone. Oh well, let me figure that out, I guess. Huh, that's interesting. Not sure where that stuff went. This is why I need to label my jars better. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more redstone here. That should be enough for what I need to do. All right, go for it, redstone. Oh, that's why. Derp. I figured out my derpiness. I put this chest here and was stupid. Oh, Dyer, you're such a derp, says everyone on the internet. Dyer, derp. It's what I do. There's the stuff. Okay, now we're talking. Cool. All right, let's do this thing. So I think the only thing I need to get going for an arcane bore is a piston. Cool. 
So we've got some of these things here. And we're going to need some of you, some great wood logs. So, um, two, one of each shard, two gold, two great wood logs. And the axe and the shovel. And this is the part where I cross my fingers that I don't lose these because I didn't make extras. Let's do it. Cool. So these void jars are actually going to play a very important role in a build that I have planned for my arcane boar. I've got a couple cool ideas. Uh, we're going to have to kind of take a look at them, but trust me, I think it'll be pretty neat in the end. There's only one step that I can't automate, and I'm kind of working towards trying to automate. We'll see if I can get there, though. But it's almost like, oh, man, really? I have to real quick. Did you just lose it. something? Yeah, diamond pickaxe. Of course, like, the most expensive one that I really didn't want to lose is the one I lost. I have to oh, hurry yeah. because I'll start having a real problem if I don't get back there fast. I think I made it back in time before we had a real problem. And nothing else has been lost thus far. Now don't zap that diamond pickaxe again. Cool. So far so good. Good, it got the diamond pickaxe. Get the shovel please. Thank you. Now we're talking. So remember in Forgecraft 3, I talked about automating the arcane board just a bit. Oh boy, hey, get back on there. Nice. That's the plan. I've got an arcane board. Haha. And while I'm at it, I'm going to need the uh, bench, which is just a dispenser, some great wood planks, and some iron ingots. I'll be back once I make that. Ah, thank you, Tema. Appreciate it. I now have some amethysts. Remember, I found out in Forgecraft 3 that amethyst is probably your best bet when it comes to uh, doing what I'm about to do, which is use an arcane board. Um, you want to use the amethyst pick if you can. And because we have ours Magicka, I can get myself this nifty gadget. Well, sort of I can. I just need some smooth stone. We'll go visit Soren's Laga machine. Light might be a bit of an understatement. What's that? Light might be a bit of an understatement for what that machine did. <laughs> Yes, indeed. All right, so we've got the Arcane Reconstructor, and I'm going to get myself, um, I believe it was iron that goes into that. Um, now, I had uh, Tama bring it to me because we're having a little bit of an issue on Forgecraft right now where it's really a bad idea to travel around dimensions unless we enjoy crashing the server. Because pretty much uh, going to a dimension is fine, but leaving it equals server crash, which is never fun for anyone. All right, so let's get this guy set up. I'm probably going to plop him right there. Cool. Might need to move him. Uh, shouldn't be too big a deal. Cool. Yeah, that looks good. So I should be able to drop my amethyst pick in, and boom. It gets repaired. Nice. We're also going to get this thing to recharge a little bit. That reminds me, I need to get something. Something that I want. I'm going to actually let this thing drain all the way, because I don't mind if it drains completely at this point. And this guy can continue to, to do his thing. Um, I want an ender pouch. I do like carrying around a backpack and having that extra tab, but the only problem is now um, Mikey's mod adds a, um, a, a graveyard, a gravestone when you die, which is cool, but it doesn't capture what's in your backpack, because that's not really considered the player's inventory, I guess. So that's something we're going to have to... 
work around. How are you doing? I don't want you completely drained, I don't think. Yeah, this thing stores a lot of energy from what I recall. Turn this off and let this guy start recharging. Cool. Alright, I want to... You know what else I can do while I'm here? Probably tune these things together, to be honest with you. Where's this guy? Should be able to tune this thing to get its energy from the light nexus, I think. But I'm not sure. Did that work? Maybe. Eh, I guess we'll find out. How about you? You're at 38%. Okay, that's weird. That thing's empty now. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to let him charge off the mana battery. You know what it is? I bet it's because I changed it from neutral to light. It reset itself. But that mana battery is probably the better bet to go with. So I'll leave this flip down so it constantly drains from the light nexus and then feeds into the... That should be fine. Alright, back to work. Next thing I want to do is a bit of enchanting, but I want to make sure the enchants I get are what I'm looking for. So um, basically what I'm going to want is unbreaking on this guy and efficiency to increase the speed and lessen the chance of it taking damage. Because even though I can easily repair it, I don't want to have to constantly be doing that. Uh, next up, I want to make sure that this thing has treasure three, which it already does because I enchanted mm -hmm. it earlier, but I want to bump up the potency on it. So we're going to be doing a little bit of enchanting, which I think I'll handle off camera just because it's a lot of infusion enchanting and... Frankly, I just don't want to sit here for the rest of the episode enchanting, and possibly for most of the next episode. So I'll be back when that's done. All right, guys, we're back, and I think I've got almost everything I need to do this crazy thing that I want to do. Uh, we're going to find out if I forgot something, and I wouldn't be terribly surprised if I did. But, you know, we're going to see what happens. Um, hmm. Where am I at and where do I want to be? That's the question of the ages. I'm around Y level 10, not a bad spot to hang out. Now this is where I've been doing all my off-camera mining. And you can see on my mini-map, lots of mining has been done down here. That's all been manual. But, you know, it's not like the end of the world or nothing, you know? Pretty decent amount of mining, but not crazy. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is um, set up a system kind of near the entrance here, I think. So I've already kind of cleared out a big chunk of this terrain, so what I'm thinking is... As a matter of fact, this is a good point. Where should I set this up? Because I've cleared out a lot down there, but I really haven't done much back this way. Like, a few people have been, like, really deep down here, but that's not that big a deal. I can probably face maybe off in this direction. Because if I... See, the thing is, like, I want to be able to head off, like, really deep down one long path and then uh, constantly turn the, the thing from left to right going down so that's probably the only direction I would be able to go anywhere else I'm going to run into existing mines and it just won't be as efficient or useful so that's what I think I'll do I'll um I'll mine in this direction and clear it out so let me actually grab my hammer which I may not have brought with me because I wasn't pre prepared to do that what I did bring with me is a portal gun hammer cool so you can see I have a ton of stuff on me and there's a really good reason for that because I am going to build a pretty complex system here that should work out really well we're gonna see it's gonna combine a few different mods but in the end i'm hoping to have like a really nice automated mining system so i'm not sure you know what's gonna happen i do see it looks like there's something on the map directly in front of me but that might be above or below not really sure we're gonna see what happens when i start mining off in that direction who knows um but let's get set up down here and we're gonna at least start the mine in this direction and if i do run into something that's just a nuisance like a lot of lava or something then i'll maybe rethink my plan but we'll see um i could always go to another spot you know dig my way down to uh, another y level 10 somewhere else nearby my base and start doing some mining so let's take a look at what i've brought with me and what kind of fun we can have uh meanwhile i'm going to move my portal that leads out of here it was the pink one okay and let me just dump out this junk in my inventory and be right back all right guys so let's set this thing up um First off, obviously, the first and foremost item of planting down here will be the arcane boar. Boom, we're going to face off in this direction, so it goes forwards. We're also going to have in there my wand of, or my focus here, 
probably in my focus pouch. Yeah, there it is. Uh, treasure three and potency three. So remember what that means is uh, we're going to get a long width from potency. So it's normal with five. Now it's with 11, which I'm pretty sure is the max. And then fortune three, of course, gives us fortune three, which is cool. Um, next up, we've got the amethyst pick. I put efficiency five on. I haven't put on breaking on yet, but I will soon. I figured efficiency is more important because it increases the speed of this mining operation. Uh, and I'll get on breaking on there pretty soon. That'll just reduce how often I have to go repair it back at my base. So that's step one. Step two, I want to test something with item ducks. So let me see what happens here. All right, so the main thing is I'm not sure if, hmm, no connection. All right, so this might not work, but that's okay. I've got a backup plan. Hooray. And then from here, we'll do this. And that. Now what I want to do is set up two alchemical furnaces with one, two, and one set up here and here. And behind these guys, we're just going to set up some Essentia tubes. Just like that. Cool. Um, now we're also going to want to have an arcane lamp right here next to this guy. Good deal. All right, because remember the arcane lamp will help to light up the area that gets mined by the boar. Cool. Um, next up, we want to have three jars, one of them being a void jar. One, two, three. Should probably, yeah, that's fine the way it is. That should be, that should be okay, hopefully. There's no line of sight issues there, but we'll find out. Um, and we're going to have Essentia tubes here and here. I need to label the jars with some existing Essentia. So let's go get some actually. Should have some Essentia vials in here somewhere. Yes. So the Essentia I want is Lux Stone. So we've got Stone. I also want Perdito and then I want Lux. Is that Lux? Perfect. Cool. So I'm making a label for each of these because that's basically what we're going to do here. We're going to have a Lux jar. We're going to have a Saxum jar and we're going to have a Perdito jar. And then we can do whatever we want with these things actually. Yeah, now I'll just do it. Perdito goes back and Lux goes back. Okay, back down. So that's the plan, okay? Um, we'll do the Lux, which is this one right here. We'll do uh, Perdito, which will fuel my boar and make it faster here. And then we'll finally do um, Saxum, which is stone, and it's basically something we want to constantly get rid of here on the Void Jar. Neat. Let's get this kick-started with a little bit of charcoal just to get the ball rolling. Well, I should probably use coal if I have some. I should have some. Sixteen ought to do. That should be a good start. Hey. So what'll happen is cobblestone will come in here and we're probably going to automate. Well, that's probably not where I wanted the cobblestone to be. That's okay. So we're going to do cobblestone in this one because this is the one I have two on for stone and saxon. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big a deal, but everything should store properly. So we've got some Lux, we've got some Perdito, we've got some saxon. Cool. Um, in fact, I'm going to make sure there's a good healthy amount of cobblestone to get us started with everything. Now I want to drill into here and set this thing up like so. We're going to have item ducts that go into the bottom of these guys, and we're going to filter them so that the only item allowed in is gonna be coal. So we're gonna set it to a whitelist of coal. Cool. Here, whitelist, coal. So only coal is allowed to go into the bottom of these guys. Into the front, 
we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to whitelist it to cobblestone on this guy. Um, and this guy, we're going to whitelist it for torches. How am I going to get torches? We'll get there. Don't worry about it. We're going to get the torches in a minute. Probably auto crafting table. Haha. -ha. Um, and uh, of course, I'm going to be getting coal, so this should work. Uh, next up, we want to output items to an output chest somewhere. And I just closed my portal, but that's no big deal. I'll reopen it right here. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is place down this iron chest, which will be like the output chest, and I want to run item ducks to it, but I want to change it so that this is the absolute last place items will go. So we're going to put it on the red mode. Green mode means it'll be one of the first places it goes, even though it's further away from these guys, but we're going to set it to red, which means you're farther away. So basically what will happen is any coal that it finds will go into these guys until it's full. Any excess coal will bounce back to this chest. Any stone that gets pulled out of this chest, cobblestone that is, will go into here, um, right, this guy, and any excess cobblestone will go into here. I might even change it so cobblestone gets filtered to a trash can, but eh, we'll see what happens. Um, and then finally, um, torches, we'll deal with torches in a minute. Uh, let me just get some excess lux going on. Um, let's see what we can do with torches. I mean, we're a little cramped in here but um you know we'll uh we'll figure something out let's see torches 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 i kind of want to do something that's both automated and compact but i might need to move some of the lux things eh. Let's see how this works out just as it is, and then we'll automate the production of Lux in just a bit. I'm basically gonna wind up leaving a bunch of sticks in a chest uh, with an auto crafting table, and the, the, the third destination for coal down here will go into that chest. We'll make sure there's at least a stack or two available before we move on too far. Hey, Jaded. Hey, Dyer. I am recording, just so you know, and I'm about to turn on this crazy machine that I've got built. And I've got some more plans for further automation of this process, guys. So don't worry, more craziness is coming. But we're going to turn this on and basically see what happens. Well, if we want, we can test this, right? So the tin ore should get pulled out. And why are you sent there? You should not be doing that. Oh, because I whitelist. I need to make that whitelist, not blacklist. Well, that's interesting. Where's that going to go? It'll probably sit inside the tubes. Well, I guess glasses in there. Just break that guy. Now iron's in there. Break him again. You done yet? Two. Better? Okay, cool. 32. We're just going to put one in here. 33. Good. All right. Whitelist. Whitelist. We should be good. Whitelist. Whitelist. Good. All right. So now going forward, any items that are not, you know, designated as such should go. So coal, for example, should bounce its way down underneath. Cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Let's turn this guy on and start seeing what happens. Go. So the first thing we're going to get is a bunch of cobble, and that's going to rapidly um, go into the only cobble accepting container we've got here. The Lux is uh, obviously draining out, as is the Perdito. Nice. Um, and any excess items here that are not cobble and coal should wind up in this chest over here. Awesome. We can already see that starting to happen. Good deal. And this guy's just as quick as I like to see him be. He's cruising. That's awesome. So we've already pretty much filled this thing up with cobblestone, right? And Perdito and Saxum, not a problem. And remember, because we've got this as a void thingy here, it'll continue to drain out all the Saxum. So any excess Saxum we have is just going to vanish into the ether, which is fine by me. All right, so let me let this run for a few minutes, and we'll see how we make out. 
All right, guys, so it does look like we've unfortunately hit the wrapping up point for the video. So what I'm going to do is actually wrap up the video here. We're going to come back next episode, and I'm going to continue automation of this. I want to automate the production of Lux, and I want to automate the production of a few other things. So we're going to see how crazy we can get um, with uh, this whole process of doing things. I do have an idea of how I might want to set this whole thing up, so we'll see what happens. So give me, um, you know, a day. And we'll be back tomorrow to check out further automation. For now, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. And take it easy.